Hey, welcome back to another episode of Cheapskate Garage. Today we're going to talk about them. Every car's got them. The toilet paper sensor. I mean, throttle position sensor. The TPS. I'm going to give you two schools of thought on this. And if you've ever had a vehicle that's ever stopped or slowed down or you're at a stop and try to accelerate and it doesn't want to accelerate, it wants to fall flat on its face, well, it could be your TPS sensor. And uh, I bought a brand new one, and I got an old one, and I'm going to put them side by side, and we're going to use an ohm meter today. We're getting technical here. So watch this. So we got our new one and our old one. We got our fluke ohm meter, our voltage tester. Put it all the way on ohms, like that. First test the two leads. And you're going to see... 0.2 whatever it's working so the first thing we're gonna do is on here that's how your, your throttle position sensor works off a of resistance and when it, the throttles closed it measures more resistance than it does when it's open so from here you should see a lot when it's open wide like that you should see little and that's telling sending the signal to the computer hey longer pulses on the injector we need more fuel so all TPS sensors are generically the same they do the same job but which leads on them is different but you stick your probes in to the back end of it and I'll get you a better camera shot but there you can see it's reading 6.36 right now and on this old one here I'm going to start to move it up. Well, look at how much I've moved it. And it's not really changing a whole lot. Then I keep on going with it. And I keep on going with it. And I keep on going with it. Well, now I'm at wide open throttle. And it's reading 1.285. So now we come over here. And we do this on the brand new one here. And it's reading 6.22. That's already what? 1 point, or 0.13 ohms or 4 ohms less at idle than what the old one was. So that's already telling it to give it a more proper mix of fuel. And then if you watch as we open this one, see how it's dropping faster? And we keep on going. Wide open throttle is 1.05. That's a heck of a difference for these uh, TPS sensors. So the whole point of this video is I don't know for sure if it's the throttle position sensor. The other day I drove the Jimmy and I was at idle. I gave it throttle and it wanted to die on me. Could there be other issues? Yes, there could be. It could be a lack of fuel pressure it could be a clogged fuel filter uh, but once it got past this little dead stage right in here it wanted to pick back up so if i was quick on the throttle it would bypass that so essentially is what's happening is this is opening up it's not sending the signal to the computer to add more fuel but your throttle blades are actually opening up and once your throttle blades are opening up without adding more fuel it's creating a lean condition inside the engine or the cylinder and it's wanting that's what it's allowing it to stall out so i think by seeing our measurements that are how different they are on the two i think this one's old and on its way out doesn't mean that I can't keep it in the tr glove box as a spare or a backup. I mean, this is a 4x4 rig. If I'm out in the mountains, I might need to rely on this old one. So it, we know it still works. Just keep it around. But uh, So we're going to go and install it. Another thing to be careful about when it comes to installing TPS sensors like this model here is see how the slots are grooved? When you install this, you want this right up against the stop. Because if it's cocked in there like this, when it opens up, when that throttle blade opens up, 
it's got room to open up before it even touches this and senses that to tell it, hey, start sending a signal for more fuel to the computer. So you want it right here and you want the other tab up against it, not clocked. And that's why they do it like this. And not all vehicles are like this. Uh, some of them, there's a little flat blade that actually inserts into there. I think the Jeep Cherokees have it, uh, but it goes in there and that's what rotates around. So I think it's time to go install it. The TPS. I guess they call it a TPS sensor, a toilet paper sensor. I mean, throttle position sensor. So looking down in here, here's the plug. It actually looks pretty good on the inside. I don't really care for how that wire's coming out. And you got to be careful with these wires because, you know, it's 160,000 miles of just sitting there getting heat soaked. But it goes right in here, and I will see if I can't show you the underside where there's a lever. One second. So right down in here, you really still can't see it, but there's a lever right here. And that lever actuates against right there, and you have to have it boop right against it in order to make it work. So the old one didn't come with the metal tabs back here, but I think that how that's how it goes in. If it if it goes in some other way, I don't know. You can comment down below. I got Eric Church stuck in my head right now. All right, fire in the hole. sensor without moving the throttle body. Starts dumping in more fuel. Hear that? So in other sense, when the throttle position sensor is pinned wide open, but the throttle blades are still closed, it's adding more fuel. Exactly like, in a way it's the same concept as your carburetor when you put the choke on. Instead though, is what you're doing is you're choking out the air and it's drawing more fuel in than it is air. So it's then becomes a really rich ratio until it warms up. 
Uh, the same things happened here, except for the fuel injectors are just adding way more fuel than what they're getting air. And it's richening it up and it's acting like it's on choke. You guys want to see more cool videos like this and have other things more car related and the mechanics of how they work, let me know. Put it down there in the down there in the uh, comment section. Click like and subscribe to see more videos like this. Thanks guys.